Since when did society get to tell you what to do with a kid? I didn't know that. I had my kid, I had never told anybody what to do with their kid. Within an hour of coming home from the hospital, I received four phone calls from a Nazi breastfeeding organization <laughs> that found out I was gonna give my son a bottle. I said, what do you people want? The lady goes, we'd like to come over and nurse your baby. I said, my baby's fine, but my husband could use some attention. <laughs> I'm tired and I see how this works out. And he doesn't wanna let any of them go to waste. <laughs> it was a long time ago, it's all right. People tell you what to do with, that's what, to do with your kids. I don't know why people tell you what to do with the kid. We're ruining kids. I signed my son up for t-ball. All I ever wanted was a little boy to play sports. They don't even keep score at t-ball anymore. Because everybody's a winner. Not really. <laughs> Look around, some people are losers, <laughs> innately. And if you don't teach your kid how to lose and figure out a way to come back and win, then he's gonna live with you in his underwear and cowboy boots behind the screen door for the rest of his <laughs> life. <laughs> Crazy. There's no incentive for success anymore. Sports is over. I told you, I'm a daughter of a former pro football player. I am so sad for sports. You can thank Southern California. It's over 10 years, no more sports. Because they just passed a law, every kid who tries out for a sports team in Southern California automatically makes the team. Really? Then who the hell is in the band? <laughs> That's how you get the band. That is how you get the band. No one wants to play the tuba. There is no Justin Bieber tuba player to inspire kids. Just a big, slow chooch who can't get off the line fast enough. They're like, hey, you wanna be on the field? Put these white boots on and carry this horn. Let's go, march, toss, toss. It's a matter of hitting a little too close to home for some of you. Suck it up. Crazy. You find the funny, it's there. Every day, every day something. I was in Florida, a woman got eaten by an alligator. Nothing funny about that. <laughs> at first. <laughs> this woman was a jogger, and they believed that she was jogging this canal where this gator lived. Well, duh. I'm not even from Florida. I know if it rains and there's a puddle, probably a gator, <laughs> right? I get off the plane and start running in a zigzag formation at the airport. <laughs> Some more useless information from the Discovery Channel. She was a jogger. They believe two weeks prior to eating her, this gator actually jumped up out of the canal and nipped her on the ankle. Nipped her on the ankle, yet she continued to jog the canal. What the hell is wrong with you? What more would a gator need to do to keep you out of his yard? And he had to eat her, because he was getting from his gator boys. Every day she showed up post-nip, they're like, what are you gonna do, gum her like the no-tooth hooker?